Hello, welcome to a tutorial on InDesign from Live Designing. This is on how to import word text into InDesign documents. <coughs> I have an InDesign document here that is uh, ready to use. InDesign can import from some text and spreadsheet files, doc, docx, text, rdf, rtf, a rich text format, and xls, or spreadsheet. Uh, text can be placed into a text frame or flowed into a series of connected text frames over many pages. Additional pages can be created to flow a large number of pages of text. Spreadsheet data can be placed as a table or as unformatted text, although we're not going to do that today. To place a small amount of text in a frame, I'm going to use this frame text frame here that I prepared. Select the frame with the black arrow on the toolbar, selected, and then click File, Place, and select the uh, file that you intend to place. In this case I have a small word file. And we see that the text was placed into the um, into the document. Now I'm going to uh, highlight all the text by double clicking on the text to switch from the black arrow to the T tool and then highlighting all the text. And let's make it um, a larger font. I'm going to place this into a uh, in, it, into a Word document and flow the Word document. I'm going to place this into a larger text frame later, but let's leave it here for now. To import many pages of text, you uh, click File, Place, and open the text file. And you'll see a small loaded cursor. Let's go ahead and do that. File. Well, make sure nothing is selected first. Choose the black arrow. Edit, deselect all is a good way to make sure nothing is selected. So go to File, Place, and find the Word document that you're going to bring in. Here's a large Word document. It's about four or five pages. Click Open. And now we have a loaded cursor. Note the structure of it in the upper left-hand corner is a little icon of some three lines of very small text. And then next to that we see the first few uh, lines or words of the actual document. If I hold down the shift key, the text icon changes to a S on its side. This indicates auto flow mode. If we hold down the shift key and click on the page, which I'm going to do, InDesign will fill that page and create additional text frames on page two of this document and fill that text frame with text and if it needs it it will then create additional pages and fill them with text also. So you see we've actually created a five, now have a five page document. Now I said I was going to put the um, small text frame into a text flow as an inset so let's do that. We can drag the text onto the document and now we see we have text over text, which isn't what we wanted. Use text wrap to make the main the text flow wrap around the ins inserted frame, which could be an image frame or a text frame or any other sort of object. Go to Window Text Wrap to open the text wrap frame. I already have it, text wrap panel, I already have it open. And choose the second or third icon and you see that the um, text now wraps around the frame I inserted. I can also reduce the size of the frame so it's just large enough and I can drag it uh, around on the page and the text flows around it. Now if we select some portions of the text in this document we can format them with the uh, paragraph styles that I have loaded. So I'm going to choose the um, choose one of my paragraph styles and highlight several paragraphs, and that formats all the paragraphs that I selected 
In this case, there were four paragraphs that I've selected parts of, so all of those paragraphs are formatted with that style. If I switch to another paragraph and choose a different uh, format, it formats it with uh, the different style that I chose. And here's my here's another paragraph formatted with a different style. Now let's scroll down to the bottom again and note that the text that was on page 4 has now started to flow onto page 5 uh, because of the I increased the size of the paragraphs on page 1 and also inserted that uh, text frame. So uh, these text frames are all threaded together and as you add or delete text the um, text below the addition or deletion point will flow up or down depending on what you do. Uh, one of the um, well, once you've got your text in formatted placed and formatted be sure and save your file. There is a gotcha. Sometimes when text is flowed from a Word document it may not respond when paragraph styles are applied to it. Um, sometimes the text com from Word comes in with all of the text formatted with something like InDesign's character styles, uh, which overrides the paragraph styles that you're trying to apply. Usually you can just select the text and remove the overrides, but if that proves to be too tedious uh, or not working, a sure approach is to remove the formatting as you import the text from Word. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm not actually going to do it, but choose the black arrow, go to File, Place, and before selecting the Word document, check the box Show Import Options. Now when we select the Word document and click Open, <coughs> we get a dialog. Generally you want to preserve styles and formatting when you're importing Word text. That's the default in InDesign usually, although I've got this set so the default is actually remove styles and formatting. This brings the text in from the Word document as plain text with no formatting, making it easy and sure to apply InDesign's um, paragraph styles and character styles to the text. So that's all I have for today. Uh, when you've got your file fixed up, be sure and save it. So thank you for coming and uh, have a good day.